Cantrips is a new side activity added in the Spring 2022 update. It uses energy to cast magic outside of the battle. For leveling, one energy is equal to one experience. The best way to level is to cast spells that cost the most energy. You can only get experience for casting spells the same level as you. To start cantrips, talk to Abner K. Doodle in the hub of any world once you are level 25 or higher. He has a quest called Cantrips 101. This will get you to level 1. Continue the quest by talking to Buttersfield in Wisteria. To get to level 2, you need 50 XP. You get at least 6 XP from the tutorial. You will get more if you teleported to Buttersfield. Once the tutorial is finished, you should cast Magic Touch 9 times to get to level 2. You can cast Magic Touch on any object, it doesn't have to be a ritual chest. The other option, which is quicker, is to cast Healing 1 or Mana 1 Radiant spells. This however means you have to craft these treasure cards, which may not be as easy as casting Magic Touch. If you do this option, you only need 5 casts of either of these spells to get to the next level. Congratulations on becoming a Cantrip Apprentice. To get to level 3, you need 100 XP. The first option is to cast Minor Invisibility. It has a long cooldown. Doing this, you only need to cast the spell 20 times to level up. If you find that too slow, you can cast some other 2 energy cantrip spells, such as Rainmaker, 50 times. The quicker option, if you have all of the required reagents, is to craft and cast 7 Fishing Luck 1 or Heal and Mana 1 treasure cards. You could also craft and cast 5 Healing 2 treasure cards. This option is only quicker if you have all the required reagents. If you don't, then use the other options. Congratulations on becoming Cantrip Initiate. To get to level 4, you need 200 XP. The first option is casting Major Invisibility. As with the previous level, this does have a long cooldown, but you only need to cast it 14 times to level up. If this is too slow, you could cast Roll Dice 100 times. I would say both would take about the same amount of time. The second option is to craft and cast Mana 2 Treasure Cards 10 times. I wouldn't recommend this unless you have all of their reagents. Congratulations on becoming a cantrip adept. To get to level 5 you need 300 XP. The best way to level up is crafting cast sneak treasure cards 15 times. I would not recommend crafting the radiant spells for this level as they will be needed later on, making it a waste of reagents. Congratulations on becoming a cantrip master. To get to level 6 you need 400 XP. At the time of writing this, the only way to level up is to cast either Mana 3 or Healing 3 treasure cards. You need to cast 14 of them to get to the next level. Congratulations on becoming a Cantrip Grandmaster. To get to level 7, you need 500 XP. You should cast Second Mark anywhere, which will give you 2 XP, then repeatedly cast Second Recall. The mark will stay even if it looks like it disappears. Doing this, you will only need to cast this 17 times. Congratulations on becoming a cantrip legend. To get to level 8, you need 600 XP. As of writing this, the only way to level up is to craft and cast Healing 4 treasure cards. These are very expensive, and you need to cast 15 of these to level up. Congratulations on becoming a cantrip champion. To get to level 9, you need 700 XP. Again, as of writing this, the only way of leveling this is crafting and casting either Fishing Luck 4 or Heal and Mana 4 treasure cards. These are both quite difficult to craft, and you need to cast 12 of them in order to level up. Congratulations on becoming a cantrip artisan. At the time of writing this guide, there is no way to get to level 10, as there are no rank 9 spells. When there is, you will need 800 XP to get to level 10. You can also get the world teleport spells from the final boss of every first arc world. For example, Wizard City spell fight Lord Nightshade. I would assume the Arcanum spell would be able to be obtained, but I am unsure where it is dropped.